Hey everybody, today we're gonna do a lesson with Onshape doing a ring with some text that's wrapped around the outside and inside. And with the goal being that you have your own ring that we're gonna 3D print out of plastic, make sure it fits well, and then eventually print it out of uh, resin on our, on our 3D printers. And that wax ring will be turned into sterling silver down the line with a lot of steps. But the first step is with this design, um, followed by doing a prototype and seeing how you like it. So this video is not, um, you know, for a total beginner, you should have a, a tiny bit of experience with Onshape. So I'm going to go pretty quick, but um, I think the video, you always can, you know, stop it, rewind it and go from there. All right, so here we go. I'm going to create this new ring and we're going to basically call it Wrapped, wrapped ring. This is my second time doing this, so there we go. And um, before we get started, uh, there's on Google, you know, ring size charts. So you have to know what ring size you want. And uh, here it says USA. So on this column here, if you want a size um, six ring. The inside diameter is 0.65. If, so going down the line here, a size 10 ring here, 0.778. So whatever it is, you're going to write down uh, what ring size you want. And the inside, di inside diameter, we just say ID. But um, just find your ring size on here by looking at this fifth column here and then this first column. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, click sketch. I'm going to do it from the front. So do the same as me, front. And now I'm going to zoom into the front over here on the right. I'm going to start off by with a circle command. I'm going to click on the very center here where it lights up. Left click, left click. Got my circle. Now I'm going to dimension it. Place the dimension off to the side and um, type it in 0.778, but your number is going to be different. So type in whatever number you got from the chart. That's important. All right, but that's my ring. That's a size 10. Now I'm going to do the circle command again. Click it, make it be bigger. And now once again, dimension. So I'm going to click on the outer circle left click and click on the inner circle, left click. And so now my dimension basically is going to be, how thick is the ring? How about 1 16th? We have to save our silver. So um, 1 16th would be doable for us. All right, so we got 1 16th. And now what I'm gonna do is go over to extrude, right here, extrude. And I'm not going to do an inch. I'm going to do a quarter inch. So 0.25, enter. And now I'm going to save our sketch. So our sketch one and extrude is done. Now I'm going to use the fillet command right here. Left click that. I'm going to click on the inside of my ring and it's going to put this rounded edge there so it's not going to uh, cut me let's look at 0.03 you like that more maybe you want something in between so you know it's whatever you want here just take off that sharp edge with the fillet command and on the outside i'm going to do the chamfer command so you learn a new command so chamfer also in the world of metalworking takes the sharp edge off objects. So I'm gonna click chamfer. I'll do this outer. And um, again, that's gonna put this 45 degree, um, you know, cut on there. And again, you could do um, whatever, whatever you think looks good. But if you get a red number, you probably got something too big in there. So 0.02, if you like it, green checkbox. All right, so my ring is basically uh, done. So now it's time for the fun fun part, doing the, doing the text. So with the text, I, uh, I have three planes right now, 
front, top, and right. I'm going to do my text from the top plane. And we're going to add another plane. And so if I click plane here, so left click plane, and I'll left click my top. And notice it just created now a new plane on top of the original, and it's called plane one. Looks good, green checkbox. So now I'm going to click on plane one and tell the computer I want to do a sketch from it. So click plane one, click sketch. I'm going to zoom into the top. And as far as the text tool goes, I'm going to left click this and I'm going to, you want to not place the text tool outside this ring area. Let me, let me be more clear. I'm going to place, I'm going to go left click and I don't want to go this far down. I want the text to be inside of here. So but now we can go past this right side of the ring because it's going to wrap around it. So I'm going to go like this and um, I'll type in our text. Of course, you have lots of fonts you can pick here. So pick whatever font that you like. Um, it doesn't have to be your name. It can be anything you want. So green checkbox. So there's my text. If it's not in the right spot, you can use the dimension tool or just start over with that one part. But it's definitely inside of my chamfers, so it's looking good. I also want to just quickly show you um, how you could do a design really fast too, which we've already covered. But here's a spline tool. And you guys know I like the ocean a lot. So I'm going to do a little little wave here and I'm going to double click to end the spline tool and I have to close it up so I'm going to do a, um, a line to close it. It's important that the sketch be um, kind of closed. So anyways, you don't have to have a design. I'm just showing you how you could do it. So now we're going to exit the sketch, green checkbox, and we're going to look for this wrap command. Um, the wrap command might be hidden. In other words, I don't see it here. But in one of these down arrow keys, you're going to find it. So click on the down arrow keys till you find it. There it is, wrap. Left click. So the target. The target is pretty easy. Like, where do you want this to go? Well, I want to go on the outside. So I left click target, left click the outside of my ring. Tools, it's kind of asking you, hey, what do you want to wrap? I want to wrap this text and design. Now you might think you're done now and hit green checkbox, but you do not want to do that. You want to go from surface over to solid and then you probably want to put a small number in here, like 0.01 or 0.02, something pretty small. And then with your text, you can have it add so it comes out of your ring, or you can hit remove where it cuts in. Um, a lot of silver jewelry tends to have black in the cracks and polish on the outside. So I'm kind of a fan of remove, but you pick what you want. Um, Outside could be probably add or remove, but make make the number be small here. Um, that's what I recommend. So that's done. Now I also want to, it'll be good review, but I want to I want to wrap some um, text in the inside too. So what I'm going to do now is kind of just look at my planes, and I can see that my top plane this plane right here is basically coming right through my ring, which is what I want. So anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the top plane. So left click top, left click sketch, and I'm going to zoom into the top. And now what I'm going to do is do the same thing again. I'm going to do some um, text and I'm going to have it be just 
inside like this. And I'll just do 2023. Got my different fonts. You can pick whatever font you want. And I could do the green checkbox. So there it is. And that's what it looks like. So now I'm going to exit my sketch by saving. I'm going to go over to the wrap command. My target is my inside of my ring. So left click the inside. My tools is basically make sure you make sure it all highlights up here. Um, but I will say that it's kind of kind of funky backwards, you know, it's not what I want. So you may or may not have to hit this flip alignment button. But that looks what I want. So this not what I wanted, but that looks better. Same thing. Surface, not what you want. Go over a solid. Inside of your ring, you probably want to remove it so it's really comfortable, but um, it's up to you. And don't do point 0.1, maybe like point 0.01 or 0.02. Um, so basically, you could, you know, do this and make sure you really, really like the design. Make sure you print it out of plastic and see how it fits because the amount of steps to turn it into metal are, are many. So you really want to love your ring, be stoked on your design, whether it be a, for you or for a nice gift for someone. And um, yeah, so thanks a lot for watching. I would just say too that if something's in red over here, uh, you know, come get me for help. I would say a lot of times there's too much text or the chamfer is too big or the fill is too big or some number is usually too big, but I'll help you. It'll be no problem at all. Just bring me your Chromebook. Uh, but you know, having no red over here kind of means no errors and that's what we're, we're striving for. So, all right, have a good one. Thanks for watching.